Nityanand guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, in today's episode, again, I'm going to share one powerful cognition about why you should cherish the guru-disciple relationship. Uh, in one of the recent discourses, Swamiji was talking about integrity and how declaring your integrity to your guru gives you the ultimate. The, all the tapas, the penance that the guru has done from the space of enlightenment, uh, which is generating tremendous punya and merits, which the enlightened master or the avatar is not clinging to because of the space of enlightenment, all these powerful cognitions, all this punya becomes available. When you entangle with the master, when you enter in oneness with him, without doing all this tapas, this penance, these powerful cognitions, this punya is simply um, experienced and given to you and taken by you. So that is a very simple thing, but it's very powerful. It means the, I don't know, thousands of powerful cognitions that the master would have gathered while being in that space of enlightenment by simply being integrated to him, committed and integrated to him. Just like that, these cognitions become your cognition without you having to do anything but to decide to be integrated and to cherish the space of oneness with your guru. So that is definitely the simplest path to make sure you achieve the ultimate because to have or to receive that amount of powerful cognitions, it is most likely impossible to get it in one life. So that is why because the Guru is established in enlightenment and in that space, powerful cognitions simply happen because it is the space from which powerful cognitions emerge. The amount and the quantity of the powerful cognitions which are generated in the inner space of the Guru is not comparable to anything that one can achieve individually. So that is why, again, being integrated, committed, aligned to the Guru is uh, allowing you to be in the space of oneness with him and to simply imbibe all the powerful cognitions that he generates by being in the space of Paramashivoham, in the space of the ultimate. So that's also a very simple thing. Once again, always simple. <laughs> no, but uh, yes, uh, it's very important. It's very important to make the journey successful, to make the journey smooth, and to make the uh, yeah, to make the journey happen for yourself. So that is one of the powerful cognitions I wanted to share with you today about this guru disciple relationship. If you have any questions. Uh, comments please write below I'll attend to them in another video and in the comments as well like subscribe if you feel that this content is helping you and uh, yeah basically in this series I'm going to tackle all the possible angles that I can uh, cognize about why the guru disciple relationship with the intention of clarifying all doubts so that one so that you can realize that cherishing the guru-disciple relationship is definitely the best way to strategize your existence. So with this, I'll see you guys very soon. Nityananda.